Hey friends, this is Bren from Cherry Grove Farmhouse. I've got three days worth of cleaning and cooking around the house. So we're starting off today in my kitchen. The counters are pretty cluttered. I've got quite a few dishes in the sink. There are dishes to unload in the dishwasher. I need to gather up the garbage. So let's go ahead and get started. If you need some motivation, I'm here for it. There's just something about having a clean kitchen that makes me feel like I have my life together. When all the dishes are washed and put in their place and the counter tops are cleaned off and there's not a lot of clutter. It just makes me happy. Um, I guess because our living area and our dining room is open to the kitchen, if there's a mess in the kitchen, then it feels like the whole space is not clean, even if it is. And honestly, my kids are practically grown. I have a 20-year-old and a 15-year-old. So they just don't you know, clutter up the living room. Now the dining room gets cluttered. It, it, a lot of things land on my dining room table, but the living room, it rarely gets cluttered. It just needs dusting and vacuuming basically. Um, but the kitchen, it has to be cleaned constantly because we're always in there, you know, making food, eating, that's our place to be. So when the kitchen is clean, it just makes me feel settled if that makes sense. My pepper dog has to come over and see what in the world I'm doing. I am all about fitting as many dishes into the dishwasher as I can. I don't mind hand washing things when I have to, but I don't know if you guys remember this or not, but I went for seven years without a dishwasher. 
So you better believe I'm using that dishwasher as often as I can. That's the Mrs. Myers fall leaves. And I don't know if that's a scent that they, they have had previously or not. It's the first time I've ever tried it. And I thought it smelled really good. I, I don't think I have ever gotten a Mrs. Myers cleaner, any of the scents that didn't smell good to me. But my youngest daughter absolutely hates that scent. So I'm kind of stuck between a rock and a hard place. I really want to use it because I paid for it. And you know, I'm not about wasting things, but she complains when she smells it. I've got a grocery haul for you. I picked up a order at Walmart and then I went into Food City and got a couple of things there. So let's see what I've got for the week and I'll share my meal plan with you. So we'll start with the Food City items. I picked up the Frosted Sugar Cookie Creamer, the Chobani Zero Sugar Sweet Cream, it is so good. It's a little more expensive than the regular, but it is the best coffee creamer. Picked up the 2% reduced fat Mexican four blend cheese. I use this cheese for everything and I cannot get reduced fat cheese at Walmart or not at my Walmart anyway. So I always pick that up at Food City. And I also got some light cream cheese, Stacy's pita chips, the Parmesan garlic and herb, some pretzel crisp, the garlic parmesan, and my oldest daughter requested baked ruffles. I got her the cheddar and sour cream. And then I also have down here at the drinks, I forgot to put these over there with the Food City items, but the, the Sunkist came from Food City as well because they have them on sale three for 10 every week. And at Walmart for one six pack, it's $4.79 and I'm not gonna pay that. So, this part right here was around $45 and some change, including those drinks. All right, so starting right here, this is the Walmart order. Got a couple of green peppers. I got a pound of lean ground beef. I'm gonna make um, meatloaf. My youngest daughter has requested that. It's her favorite. As a matter of fact, she wants to have meatloaf at her wedding, <laughs> she has said, so. I don't know if she'll change her mind before that time comes, but yeah, meatloaf for the wedding. <laughs> um, I got a pot roast and it was on sale. It was not the actual price that's on there. So I'm excited about that. We've not had a roast in a while. So we're gonna make two meals out of that. Um, yes, another coffee creamer. <laughs> we can never have too many coffee creamers at my house. We are coffee drinkers. Well, maybe we're coffee cream drinkers, but we are coffee drinkers and we love our, we love all of our different kinds of creamers, but this is the zero sugar Italian sweet cream. I got some light Greek vanilla yogurt. I eat these every single day. Picked up some 2% American reduced fat cheese. Got some Bremel and Brown butter made with yogurt. Picked up 2% milk for my husband. And then I got some baby carrots. That's going to go with the roast. Picked up some romaine hearts. We'll just have some salads throughout the week this week. Got some eggs. Now, this was, I think the eggs have dropped. The price has dropped because they were over $8 for this, the two 18 pack, and it was $7 and some change this week. So I'm grateful for that because. I eat a lot of eggs, and so does my youngest daughter. She loves eggs, too. Um, we got some dark, sweet cherries, and that goes in my yogurt every day. I picked up Quest Protein, the tortilla, nacho cheese-flavored 
um, chips. I like to eat that and help get my protein in and eat chips at the same time. Um, I got some seasoned uh, Great Value French fries. Picked up my daughter. Actually, this was a substitution. I hope that she's okay. This is the Autumn Mix that also has like the chocolate on it. She loves candy corn, so I wanted to get her some, but they they didn't have that, so they subbed it for this, and I hope she'll like it okay. Um, I got some white baking chips, as well as, well as some old-fashioned oats, because we're gonna make some homemade granola this week, and she likes, my daughter likes to have the white baking chips in them. Um, that's why I got the roasted and salted pecans for. That's gonna go into our granola as well. I picked up some Rapid Rise Insta Yeast. I don't know, it's getting a little cooler here and it just makes me wanna bake. I just wanna make some bread, I don't know. Um, I'm still doing Weight Watchers. I'm still, you know, watching what I eat, but you know what? Some homemade bread one day is not gonna, it's not gonna hurt. So we're gonna, we're gonna do that this week. Picked up some onion powder, some dill salad cubes. That actually goes into my um, meatloaf that I make. And if you're interested in that recipe, I have that on my channel. I'll put it down in the description box if you're interested in how I make my meatloaf. Picked up some canola oil, some butter flavor spray. Got some, these are my favorite like canned green beans, the Italian, Allen's Italian green beans. So we're gonna have those with the meal this week. Picked up some um, Great Value cream of chicken soup, just a couple of cans to restock the pantry. With that leftover roast, the next day we're gonna do some sliders. So I picked up, um, it's the Great Value Hawaiian Enriched Rolls because the name brand are like ridiculous. They're like $6 for a pack of the name brand Hawaiian Rolls. So yeah, I went with that. And then I picked up the Sara Lee 45 calorie bread. I eat that quite a bit. My daughter requested the Berry Colossal Crunch, so got that for her. Picked up a couple of packages of ranch salad dressing mix just to stock the pantry and picked up some brown gravy mix, same, just to stock the pantry. All right, I've already shown you the Sunkist. Got my husband a couple of Sprite Zero. That's his favorite drink. And then non-food is down here on the floor. Picked up some paper towels and the Clorox refills for the toilet wand. So for the Walmart part of the haul, I spent, it was around 140, I think it was 142 and some change. So I ended up spending about 190 this week on groceries. So I will share the meal plan with you in just a second. And like I said, we are coffee drinkers. So every day starts off with a pot of coffee around here. Now, my daughters like to drink, you know, the fancy coffee from the, all the places, but that's just, I'm not about that. I like to make coffee at home and fix it the way I like, and to me, that's better than any coffee drink that you can go purchase. Now, I know a lot of people would argue with me about that, including my daughters, but I, I just like my coffee at home and... It is so much cheaper. Now, this wasn't even on the meal plan this week, but that's okay. My daughter requested some potato soup today, so potato soup it is. So we need some chicken broth for this. I don't think I'll need both of those, but I went ahead and set them out. Some celery salt, parsley flakes, onion powder. I just happen to have these Southern style hash browns in my freezer. So that's what we're gonna use for this soup today. I got some reduced calorie um, 
the light cream cheese, the Great Value brand. And then I'm just going to use some of the um, Smithfield Fully Cooked Bacon. We're going to throw this in the crock pot and just let it do its thing. And at the end of the day, we're going to have some yummy potato soup. First thing going in is the crock pot liner. It just makes cleanup so much easier. Now there won't be any exact measuring with this. Everything is kind of measured with my heart. So it's just a taste and I kind of know what my family likes. So we're just gonna eyeball it. And if it needs a little more something else when we get toward the end of the cooking process, we'll just toss that in. Now, I normally will set the cream cheese out and let it soften a little bit, but like I said, this was kind of a spur of the moment type deal, so I had not done that, but it's going to melt all down in the crock pot anyway, so it's going to be fine. And why, yes, that is a cow casually walking by my dining room window. That's just the kind of thing that happens on a farm. Yep, need to splash more of that chicken broth to make the soup the right consistency. So this is what it looks like all put together. We're just gonna cook it on low for about mm, four to six hours, and then we'll check it and see if it's ready to eat. Here's an up close of the cow. There's several out there just grazing in my backyard. All right, let's get my bedroom straightened up and put back together. I think it's time to change the sheets. Gonna get those in the washer and get some clean sheets on the bed. a washcloth folded up in my sheet. So do you use your top sheet or your flat sheet when you're making your bed? I kind of have mixed feelings about it. I don't use the flat sheet all the time. I do more often in the summer, um, but when it's like cooler and it starts getting like in the winter months, I like more cozy feeling blankets. So y'all have to tell me, am I just, I don't know, being crazy? Or do you guys use your top sheet or your flat sheet every time you make your bed?
I love having a clean bedroom and a freshly made bed. And my little Percy cat is under the bed and she can't wait to get up there on the bed and cozy up and take a nap. After a day of cheer, we came home to the potato soup and it did turn out delicious. Thanks guys for hanging out with me. I'll see you soon.